start screaming, <laughs> not screaming, start streaming. But it doesn't start. Let me see. Uh, okay, so the streaming has started. Now, guys, today we will do interview with Cetumir Georgiev. He is a guy who has been in uh, numerous movies like uh, Ninja Turtles, Clash of the Titans, and most recently Stranger Things. He has a little bit of a finger of making the main monster in Stranger Things. And you will see. Uh, okay, I present you Tsetumir Gurgiev. There he is. Hello. Hello, Nikoi. Hello to uh, the people that watch the stream. Yeah, I want to feedback from the people in the chat. Uh, is he is? Uh, do you hear him well? Uh, I will have to probably bump the sound a little bit or something. Uh, but yeah, until then, we can talk about. How did you start your, yeah, they say yes. So, how did you start your uh, journey into the 3D? I mean, you told me that you start with uh, 3D Max, but how everything happened with the computers and 3D and everything? Yeah, uh, I think it's mostly like uh, most of us, uh, it started uh, like a passion for the, for the creatures, anatomy and uh, movies, uh, games, you know, and uh, yeah. Just a dream, like like a kid. I was a dream to work for movies, for games and stuff. Really? And, uh, but yeah, yeah you I... had a dream. But uh, uh, how did you find about the 3D Max, for example? And then how did you find about ZBrush? And how did you start working with those programs? Uh -huh. uh, for uh, for a 3D, I thought I, uh, I I can't remember exactly when when I first time I see the. 3D Studio Max or, or softwares like uh, 3D Max, but I'm I'm sure that um, uh, I as a kid I, I watched a, a TV show that call, was called The Magic of the Movie, and they saw uh, they they show many. Um, uh, by the way, sorry about my English; it's it's not a very good. Yeah, I, mean, I know, I know. You were you were living in. A, I, I will tell the people that um, we you have to excuse his English because. He was not talking to people uh, the last few years. He was living in a cave uh, far away from civilization, mostly. So that's why. But now he's here just for this interview and he will go back to the <coughs> cave at some point. Whatever. This is a joke, of course. Uh, continue <laughs> about the, the magic of the movie. I remember this show, by the way. The movie yeah, magic or something it was called. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it was a very interesting because they, they show many of the, um, you know, the, the puppets and the, the maquettes that the they special make effects, yeah. special effects for the movies. And in some episodes, they show some, um, you know, computer generated models and uh, stuff. And I was very, ex um, very, um, how to say it? Um, uh, inspired, probably. Inspired, yeah, yeah very inspired to, to see how this, this work. And um, after years, maybe I was uh, after the, the, the school, I, I, um, my sister gave me one computer, very low, low level, uh, low level computer, but yeah. uh, it's a computer. <laughs> yeah, after all, yeah. And uh, she also gave me a book uh, uh, for a 3D Studio Max, you oh, know, so the, the book, book. it, yeah, it was know. a 3D Studio Max for Bible, it, it was the yeah. name of so and you I learned from a book uh, in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. I, People I these that. days are not learning from books anymore, I think. <laughs> uh, the, the internet, you know, Nico, yeah. in these days, uh, especially in, in our country, the internet was a luxury. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, oh, this uh, was I learned it for 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 this book. I take this computer and go to my village for a year, and I just uh, stay there and. Um, Worked and uh, practiced. Uh, yeah, marks. practiced all the the, the the tutorial tutorials from the book, and I well, I was very excited. Very, it was a living in dream, you know. And uh, after after this, I make some models for the tutorials, and I start to imagine some models, my ideas yeah. and stuff, and st start to sharing in a, a forums, you know. The, yeah. the uh, Grafila, for example. It's a Bulgarian yeah, uh, yeah. forum for CGI. It was a Grafila. It's a very good forum. And 3DBG it was, was also. It was a good forum. Yeah. And there I find the community. 
and this was a very very big point of my life because I, I find my my how to say it uh, you find the passion and you find people who to share yeah, it with. yeah yeah to, to share because I, I, I as, as you I was uh, in a small you you're not for, for very small town but it's I was the same in small... it's the same size basically it's almost the same size I think ah, our okay. towns uh, and you know to, when you find the people with your passion your your um, ideas is very very good uh, good thing yeah. and after this I started to to make models and stuff and uh, somebody in this forum uh, tell me one day hey do you know about the, the software called ZBrush it was a steel version one or two in these days and I around uh, 2000 uh, you you will say it around 2005, something like this? Maybe I can't tell exactly the, the, the year, but it was very, maybe 20 and how? Oh, five, something like this, yeah. 22 years, maybe. 20, 20 years ago, let's say 20 years ago, not 22. <laughs> so I, I can't tell them yeah, okay, exactly. Okay, okay. So you have started uh, to, you, you learned about ZBrush? And you downloaded it and you started working with it started to you know to test the things but yeah, uh, yeah. were there any tutorials back then for zbrush uh, this was only the tutorials on the the pixelogic uh, website uh, uh -huh. there was a uh, good tutorials small just show how it uh, work uh, uh, with the brushes and the, the textures you know the this stuff and uh, after uh, after this i in love fall in love with this software and uh, I start to learn it and make some uh, models like uh, everybody else in, the, in this time. And uh, 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 in this, uh, um, after maybe two years after, after this, I, uh, there was a site, uh, I found a site called it Gnomon. On this Gnomon site, workshop, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was only Gnomon in these days. And, and this uh, website uh, provided very good tutorials about the, one of the biggest professionals in this industry. And I uh, maybe watch every tutorials and uh, I did any uh, techniques and stuff from, from these tutorials. And I find a, a guy that for me was uh, the god, <laughs> the godfather. And uh, it was Aaron Sims. This is, uh, so Aaron Sims, you find, uh, you find out about Aaron Sims, but have he made tutorials yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah so uh, I so you watched his tutorials I, and then yeah. you kind of how do you uh, because you were working for aaron sims uh, for a lot of years afterwards how did you meet him how did uh, he contact you or you contact him contact him how how did it happen how did, uh, did it happen i uh, after after um, i started to work uh, mostly with zbrush uh, i started to post my uh, my models in a uh, Pixlogic uh, ZBrush Central Central website, okay. and uh, there uh, Aaron maybe it's uh, also used this site at this time, and he was uh, seeing my works and just uh, he noticed also, you. Yeah, just uh, and, and one day I just uh, see a message from him that uh, offered me a job. And that and, was just like uh, mind blowing for you. Yeah, this was a <laughs> pivotal I, moment was a... in your career, we may say. Yeah, yeah. this is was well, this is it was was uh, it my how to say it uh, the biggest day in my life. Uh, this this guy for me was uh, the, the the best uh, in the industry, and for me it's still one of the best. Uh, yeah, uh, many people best. probably don't know about the Aram Sims company, but the Aram Sims company is providing. Uh, many many movies the Hollywood movies the biggest movies with uh, concepts of creatures mostly and they have worked for numerous movies like everybody knows the Ninja Turtles one of the last uh, movies of Ninja Turtles and um, Clash of uh, Titans and uh, some uh, some TV series like Stranger Things for example we will talk about it at some point yeah so uh, you started working uh, for Aaron Sims yeah, but uh, he was working on many projects before that. He was also working on Terminator, uh, Terminator. 2 or 3, I think. Uh, uh, I th I'm not sure, but yeah, he was making some design from Jurassic Park 3 and many, many others. Yeah, many, many movies, many, many movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's an amazing uh, artist and uh, 
and just a very it's perfect for for a guy like me in this time to start working with such a professional because uh, uh, when you work with uh, work uh, with somebody who, who is so professional and talented you can learn a lot from him yeah, if you, you can take a lot of uh, his knowledge yeah, and yeah, you can it's, steal it's, a lot oh <laughs> it's, well, you can call it steal yeah but uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah i know, it's I know. Good, good stealing <laughs> good stealing of course so uh tell us uh, a little bit about um, um you were working for uh, the game companies you were working uh, for uh, maybe freelancing for some game companies also yeah i, I freelanced before many years uh, freelance for uh, uh, different companies but uh, my full-time jobs was uh, for uh, uh, maybe uh, let's say three companies the the second one i will skip the first one the second one was was a masked studio that uh, we make it uh, one MMORPG, RP, what, how is the yeah, name? RPG, it? yeah, MMORPG. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yes, this this type type of game. They, they were, I was making humans, creatures and stuff. And uh, other, I worked there many years. When Do I you was have something there. to show from uh, this period? Yeah, from I our just open. Yeah, share I, the I screen think... and show us. Yeah, just a second, what? Uh, because I, I'm not sure, I, I have a pulled many of the designs oh, just a few from uh, this period uh, you can show i think you have them in your art station even if you don't you can show us some of the first things you have you have done uh for Aaron sims for example why not oh uh, yeah um, for Masked studio i have only this this one it's very yeah. small. share your screen and we will see ah uh, it's not shared it obviously no <laughs> ah sorry uh okay now now yes uh, press uh, f11 probably yeah good okay yes and this one it's very yeah, this was uh, the the mmorpg was called earth rise and i think it failed it didn't came out yeah, at all they they released the game but it oh. was a fail yeah yeah it was a little bit of a fail it was a very big uh, project for a studio that was young and still for the first project this is i think it's not okay this one also was for the uh, it tries, yeah it's uh, it um, there is a question in the chat by the way uh for to show one of your first things in 3d max but i already asked you about this and you told told me that you cannot find them yeah first I, works. I, I didn't need yeah usually I, when somebody is uh, kind of become successful and start to make good things uh, usually especially in the internet you rarely can find some of their old stuff uh, and also obviously in his hard drives he's not uh, keeping his old stuff too much yeah so, it's interesting to to have it i i also wanted to to find but when you ask me for the first, one of the first my first three models, uh, but I can, can find it, find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So show us uh, some of the first works you, you've done for Aaron Sims and uh, tell us a, a little bit more about the works that you have done there. You were working in Aaron Sims company as a 3D character uh, concept artist. So yeah. tell us uh, how this works. I mean, how can you be a 3D concept artist? How? Maybe the same as a 2D concept artist. Just give they give you a script with the idea, and you you start sketching, but with in ZBrush, and uh, the the idea in the 3D concept design at this time was uh, to be very fast, uh, because uh, you have to provide something uh, that looking good and with good uh, lighting and uh, mood. You know, the mood is very important in yes. in these uh, designs and uh, the, the, the speed is the most important thing with the 3d design because if you uh, have to make uh, something uh, mo some model that will uh, be very detailed and perfectly uh, over map it and the time will not you the time will, will, will not be enough be, yes so you're saying enough, that um, yes. you are basically something like a 2d artist but you are working with 3d to make uh, the perfect uh, picture exactly. of your yeah, exactly. imagination what's coming from your head 
to yes. to make it perfectly so show us yes, some yes. stuff from up close just click on something that you can uh, you find interesting to see mm -hmm. From Aaron Sims company. Oh, uh, you asked me for one of the first uh, projects that I want. Yeah, you, you, if you can find it. I think it's not it's not here because also it's, uh, I didn't keep all the, the works. I, I, I uh, my portfolio on our station is maybe the one third from the old stuff that I make for Aaron and others. And still, you project. have like uh, hundreds of pictures, so you, you yeah. have done a lot of things. This uh, this is the same that I I told you about the speed. You know when you. Uh, start to designing some something you 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 make these models for about two or three days max one of these models so each model you done for two or three days yeah, yeah, yeah and because then you, you finish it in in photoshop right yeah you finish it in photoshop and and, and, and they use many uh, many if you have a, for example this girl it's maybe this 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 in the same mesh uh, the, the girl mesh just uh, twisted and uh, uh, tweak it a bit to, to look different, you know. And uh, this was a skill that you will uh, start to, to learn in time when you everything is very on, on, on speed. And um, this is the idea of, on the 3D, 3D designs to be very, very, to, to, to make it very, very fast, the, the ideas. Try to click on some... Uh... Uh, okay, first, first, I don't... Okay, Maybe so uh, you cannot, uh, let's we say cannot this was see, one, no, one no, we first. cannot see it because you can open it. We cannot, uh, Why can you hear me? It can be open. Can you hear ah. me? Uh, can you hear me? No, you can't hear me. So we may uh, need to restart the conversation probably. Ah, you don't have internet, really? <laughs> so it was your internet uh, which was the problem, right? Um, uh, do, do you hear me, Nico? Now I hear you, but it was a problem because your internet just crashed. Yeah, some, some problem with the internet, I, I see. Sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's alright. It's like uh, the old times, you know. Yeah, I, I, as you say, I live in a cabin in the woods now and the yeah, internet here is not normal, very... Normal. Uh, do, do you see the sharing? Uh, yes, I see myself now uh, in your Skype. Now we see okay. your our station. It's cool. So okay. basically, your work for uh, Aaron Sims was they give you the description or a very vague sketch of the character, just with uh, line drawings, and you just work. And then uh, after two days or even less, you give them give them something. They over overpaint it or feedback, and then uh, after that, the final. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They all repent. Uh, the, the most important thing, me, me, thing for me was uh, when Aaron uh, overpaints something because I, I can learn from from the from from this. Because any feedback that uh, this guy gave me was a pure treasure from you know. Because I see where is the problem when, where, where you know. Yeah, always feedbacks from professionals are very very important, yeah, yeah, especially is... when they are done in production stage you are in production you are producing stuff you have to do it quickly and um, it will be viewed from uh, producers of very great movies like uh, super blockbuster productions like the ninja turtles for example we see here and everything but those models uh, i want to say for the people are not the models that they use in the movies or something those are just concepts they don't use the 3d at all uh, from Zetsu. No, no, you... his 3D. His uh, 3D is only for the renders. Then, when they have the concept, they give it to some uh, studios or people, and they make the final models for the game from those concepts or for the movie. I mean, yeah, mostly for movies. Yeah, but not any time. Many, many of the uh, of the concepts uh, you, you send the model, and they send send this model to the modeling uh, team. You know, ah, so and they can it, uh, work on. It yeah. was a, no, no. That, when you make designs, it doesn't mean that uh, you will not provide the 3D model, and the 3D model didn't not look like the design. They use sometimes, many of times I remember, they use this model as a guide. You know, yeah, as a for guide. Yes. Maybe they they didn't use for retopo, retopologize this model, but use it as a. You know, it's better to have a 3D model to see yeah. the angle and stuff to. 
We have a question, by the way. Uh, how did you do the ZBuilder? Did you know programming? But let's answer it uh, when we start talking about the ZBuilder, when we start talking about the other things. We will answer this question. How did you manage to do the ZBuilder? And many people don't know probably, but ZBuilder is a plugin for ZBrush that he did. Uh, it's uh, He will show it a little bit later, probably. Uh, but uh, there is an interesting question. What do you do when you get art block? Yeah, every artist gets this question, but uh, what do you do when you get art block? When you kind of... Do, do you know what art block is? Yeah, when you just don't want to do it and, uh, you know, you, you get something like a depression. Everybody gets it. Uh -huh. mm. What do you do? I did, How do you I did manage to... Uh, I, 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 I heard this uh, uh, word uh, art block for the first time. It's some kind of uh, overworking or what? Something okay, like uh, you you feel like you 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 cannot do it anymore. You cannot uh, sculpt like you did before. It's just a moment stuff. It's like maybe sometimes it's for a couple of days, but it may be for weeks. It depends on the person. It's some kind of a depression, art depression, we may say. And uh, how, many people deal with it in a different way. For example, I, because I like to do heads, for example, I just open Blender or ZBrush or whatever software, we don't care. Uh, you're working with ZBrush, I'm working with Blender, but I was working with ZBrush for a long years. So I open it, I open just one sphere and start sculpting a head and it helps me to uh, kind of get over it by just sculpting basic things that I know how to sculpt very well. And it brings me pl pleasure. And again, I understand that I can do it, right? Really. But for people who are new, probably it will be difficult because yeah, they are still learning. They know their stuff is not as good and uh, maybe depressions are far more often. How do you deal with depressions if you have some sometimes? Yeah, I understand you. But uh, in my in my head is a bit different because uh, I'm a bit a problem, I think, with uh, my mind or s s yeah, you are a little bit of a psychopath. I already told yeah, you last time. I don't know it's a psychopath, but uh, it's a... A little. Have... <laughs> okay. More than, more than most people do. Yeah, I am... Um, uh, when I'm working on something or... Um, uh, how to say it? Uh, in a point of my life, uh, this this was only the thing that I will do. And I can see nothing other except, except uh, art and do stuff and create something. And um, uh, I can uh, when I was uh, overworking, for example, I just uh, go into to sleep to, to take some uh, power to wake up to start working again. But uh, as an overworking and a walk, as you say, I'm a um, a person you could know me a bit um, uh, antisocial and stuff, and I don't I don't didn't know didn't. <laughs> Do other yes. stuff, except working, and not not only working with the computer and stuff. I work at all, create other thing, uh, make uh, repairings and stuff, and and this is my life. Only this creates some stuff out of the day. And yeah, yeah. Is... everything is about creation uh, because yeah, you know, this uh, keeps me alive. I, I I mean, if I fall in depression and can do this, I don't know what else to do. You know, I can go to vacation and something. Exactly. Your, uh, I understand your, um, your kind of a mind a little bit because uh, I have similar things, not in such extent probably, but I'm a little bit similar. Uh, we can concentrate really on one thing and we get upset, uh, uh, not upset, we get uh, obsessed with this particular thing on the time we are doing it. For example, uh, you get obsessed with uh, making uh, your you buy an apartment you know get obsessed of making it perfect inside to everything to be perfect like uh, everything inside the repairing and uh, all the things and you get obsessed with it and you do it and you all your mind is focused on that thing which is the yeah. same with the models obviously you are uh, you know you have to do this model or a game uh, yeah or exactly other i mean projects. Yeah, you said very good. Uh, exactly when I uh, uh, walk uh, my mind with work, I change the work with other work. You know, if you now make model and I'm tired of, of, of uh, my ace uh, can uh, watch the monitor anymore, I go to do to, to something else. For example, 
uh, make something from clay or uh, do some repair. Yeah, we'll talk stuff. about the clay also. Yeah, yeah I, I just uh, switch the, the 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 passion to something else uh, at this moment. Can so you? I can I can give a good advice. Yeah, uh, I understand. Can you uh, give us? Uh, we will uh, see if there are more questions with people, but. Can you now show us uh, the the first version or the version that it's ac actual or uh, which is for the ZBuilder? So Z ZBuilder, tell us about the ZBuilder a little bit. How did you um, thought of it? How did you think to make this kind of a plugin for ZBrush? Uh, and how did you manage to do it? Uh, are you a programmer yeah. or what? What happened? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not a programmer. I, I'm Show a... us a little bit of. Uh, you, you have it in our station, I think, somewhere. Yeah, I have it in our station. It's a ZBuilder. This is the last version. This is and, the four version, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I have a. This is this two is as uh, the, the biggest plugins that I make. ZBuilder Animals and ZBuilder Four. Yeah. Uh, Show us ZBuilder Four and what can it do? Do you have some uh, images you, there? I have to to run a video, maybe. Maybe it's uh, it's fine. Uh, ZBrother is a is a uh, it's a plugin for ZBrush that uh, allow you to to create the humans and mix it with creatures and textures and stuff. It's a <laughs> just with sliders. It's it's pretty. It's easy. sliders. Yes, you can. Okay, just let's try to to see to open the video, and for I will skip some part just to show the idea. Okay. The idea is just, uh, just to, you can uh, blend uh, humans with uh, another human bodies, for example, heavy or mus muscular, uh, uh, skinny, and uh, the, the, up, the, the update that I did after that is uh, to mix with the, the creatures. And uh, this was, uh, this is uh, the, 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 the sliders here, but I, I, I can see, I, did you see it well? Yes, yes, yes. So uh, in the beginning, I will tell the people because I know in the beginning, the builder was only with humans, and I think there was a monkey, also a chimpanzee or whatever. So you can mix um, from you can make all types of human, uh, like a skinny woman or skinny hermaphrodite. You can do uh, a fat uh, guy or a very muscular guy or very muscular woman. Everything was possible, and then he upgraded it with creatures so you can mix between the creatures we can mix between people and creatures or creatures and creatures i guess you can add uh horns you can add uh, wings or tails or whatever so it's interesting interesting plugin i would say yeah it's uh, the idea of this this plugin is the exactly that uh, i tell you about the speed of the the, the working because with this uh, you can uh, do fast uh, many humans or uh, ex express your ideas for uh, if you have uh, some concept for creature to uh, if if I have this plugin when I work it for for Aaron Sims or like a 3D designer it it was uh, it will be very it will speed my process uh, it will be my, very very much faster uh, yeah. okay but tell us tell us something how did you manage to do this I mean uh, this plugin requires I guess a lot of programming knowledge or what yeah the code is very 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 big and uh, very, very complex uh, coding yeah very complex yes the, the first version that you said about only the humans just was a scene with zbrush scene that you just uh, um, change the layers you know it's the layers, very, yeah but this was the first version simple. now yeah but uh, after complex. years and years of uh, learning and stuff i start to learn uh, z scripting this is the one uh, language that uh, ZBrush used to to script uh, plugins, and uh, I start to learn it from the document documentation from the uh, Z Z ZBrush website, yeah. and um, and I learned many things how to to do the, the plugin very complicated, very different, uh, and um, to do to have uh, options that ZBrush didn't have and stuff. And uh, when I uh, uh, update and uh, post my process again in, Z in ZBrush Central, there was a guy that uh, for me is a genius. It's a Mar Marcus Civis. Uh, um, uh, this is a one of the. Um, um, uh, he's a programmer in ZBrush. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's a programmer in, in ZBrush and write um, programming very pro many plugins and stuff. And he helped me a lot, a lot for 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 my so scripting. So you had a, a a help from inside at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. he gave me a, a many a lot, a lot of, of help. And stuff, yeah. He changed my I sent him some code. He fixed it, uh, 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 sent it back to me and. Uh, Amazing person, amazing. This this guy is uh, no, just. Nice. Uh, he does that for free, right? Yeah, for free. I offer him money and whatever. He's a no. I like your plugin. I will help you. <laughs> cool. And uh, he, I learned it uh, for, uh, for example, for Aaron Sims. I learned how to make design from this guy. I learned designs in ZBrush. For this guy, I learned how to code in ZBrush. How to code? This yeah. Is... So you learn from the best. Yeah, for me, these these guys are the best. I, uh, how to yeah, say but it, first, you know? before you even um, meet these guys and they uh, help you, for example, you have to show something and you've shown, for example, in Aaron Sim's case, you showed that you are valuable to him. So he uh, gets you below his wing, we may say. And uh, with the case of this programmer, uh, the ZBrush guy that's working for Maxon ZBrush, now Maxon before uh, Pixelogic. Uh, in in this case, you showed something that you have done by yourself again, and it was impressive enough. So he, he, he decided to help you. So it's you have to yeah. first do something, you know. Yeah, it is it is uh, it, it is true. But uh, I'm very uh, thankful about uh, this help, you know, yeah. uh, because uh, Marcus is amazing. He just gave me a help without nothing. This guy is. Uh, and uh, I learned it from him. I learned it a lot uh, how to programming uh, with this script. And uh, I, I did uh, very complex plugins and uh, stuff. This is the just a second. This is the other one. I will just put it on a background. You you, you know. Yes so, yes yes. Uh, and now uh, for me, um, uh, I working. I, I I told you I working on a. It's almost done. The, the plugin for ZBrush, uh, uh, it, that is so the same as the for ZBrush, yeah. Painter, yes, you can make the complex, uh, complex uh, materials. materials and, yeah. yeah, yeah. I show it to you what you think. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think it, it's very cool. Uh, it will be interesting for many people who are who wants to just do uh, Substance Painter stuff, but in ZBrush. So they they want to stay inside ZBrush for the longer time. And you said that those materials easily can be exported into um, Unreal Engine, which is great. Yeah, yeah. you can export uh, directly to your model with, with the materials. Yeah, but this, the, uh, this software section. or plugin is not yet available. You are working on it. When do you reckon you will finish it? Uh, it's it's done, but I just have to, to, to make the a big library for the users uh, for okay. you know materials like stones, uh, um, flesh uh, and stuff. And I want just make at the moment, I just make materials. Yes. To be available for users, but uh, so, with the with the plugin you can make the same materials. But I have to make tutorials, you know how to how because this yeah. uh, plugin is very complicated. It's uh, almost like a, a, another software in ZBrush that you so have to learn. For for this uh, software, uh, I mean uh, now the Animal Builder and the Z Builder, uh, I want to say that all the models, the base models for monsters, for animals, for uh, humans are sculpted by a human being and they are put it there and uh, then there is the the plugin is mixing between them but everything is hand sculpted mostly hand sculpted sculpted with zbrush okay yeah with zbrush of course with zbrush not with blender uh, but yeah uh, uh, many people will say here that uh, but uh, we are sculpting with blender and stuff uh, I always say it doesn't matter which software you use. You can use 3D code, you can use Mudbox, you can use Blender, you can use ZBrush. Uh, the main thing is uh, what you're doing and how good yeah, yeah. you are probably. Or, yeah. yeah, I think Blender is amazing. It's uh, the future. This is the future for modeling for me. I, I, really, I, I can work with Blender. I didn't know it. But I, I watch many uh, in your, on your channel tutorials and stuff. And a uh, good teacher like you can uh, motivate uh, <laughs> motivate if I'm young and now start to learning something, I will start to learn Blender. <laughs> yeah, but uh, back in the days when you started uh, learning uh, 3D sculpting, if Blender was the Blender that it's now, you maybe would be using Blender because Blender back then was not uh, 
it was not possible to sculpt you know yeah, yeah, yeah. in this time blender was very very, very, very basic super basic base, yeah yeah it, but it, uh, at the moment is great the i mo see yeah. what uh, people last, like you uh, last two years blender was uh, amazing and for sculpting and for everything it's a very good software yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a um, it's a great uh, great 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 software okay there is a question by the way and uh, i don't know this question is uh, very uh, because it's how much an artist on this high level makes per hour uh, which it, it it depends in various uh, it can make in my opinion i will say that it can you can make from 30 to like uh, 70 dollars per hour it depends on the work it depends on the where you live or f who you work for i don't know what do you think i i didn't work as a freelancer for many years yeah. because uh, last um, maybe five years I just working on my game and my plugins. I uh, make it, and I, at the moment I, I work this many. I, I, I update my plugins. I make models for plugins, but uh, so I can say what is the good price for now at, at the moment uh, for a freelancer. Yeah, but for uh, a high level like this, I think between I, uh, thirty and uh, fifty dollars per hour is uh, completely uh, good uh, for uh, a high level artist. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Depends, on, but I can give advice if, if some someone is still uh, learning and you start as a junior. Uh, it's no, maybe it will be. It, it will sound strange, but uh, no, the money is not the all in the beginning. It's uh, very important to 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 work for somebody or some uh, to get uh, you know to get the to get the experience the necessary experience yeah. you know, yes yes to, to get the skills and after that you everything will be more more easy or, uh, um, otherwise if you just want to make may um, if if you want to be a millionaire in a uh, in one year you know <laughs> it's it, not, it uh, not it's not even possible yeah uh, so, uh, before we go to the game, by the way, because it will be interesting uh, how you make the whole game by yourself, uh, let's talk a little bit uh, the AI. What do you think the AI, um, in your opinion, just give us your opinion, will the AI help 3D character artists or it will, uh, we will lose our jobs, for example, or something like this. Uh, from, a, from, a, from a position of the 3D character artist, I'm talking about yeah. because you are not only that but you are also that yeah uh, my i think the ai it's amazing for me this is what this is, is the, the the thing that uh, i always dream it to to can make <laughs> something that will make art just with uh, you know just with a few clicks, clicks. Yeah. yeah yeah and uh, the results is amazing uh, <laughs> How to say it? Maybe some people will hate uh, about this answer and say this is a, this this guy is a stupid what what he said. But nobody will say that probably. But yeah, but uh, under the the all oh, this this is a um, very genius thing, you know. Yeah, genius. But uh, people are asking mostly uh, about your opinion if this will take over our jobs, for example. Yeah, so, I think we will take not uh, all our, our jobs but it will replace many of us i'm sure um, yeah i would say i would add that uh, probably in my opinion uh, st still I i'm saying my opinion is that people they don't know how to work in 3d at all most people they uh, many people know how to work with 2d with images even with photoshop with everything because images are easily available you can watch them in your browser but 3d is a little bit more complicated than that and if there is a tool that can make you 3d model from a concept uh what will you do with this 3d model you have to open it in a 3d program you have to do something so it will be a little bit difficult and probably in the beginning a uh, couple of years of the ai developing which uh, it's not even in the baby steps yet in this to make a from a concept to make a ready 3d model it's uh, not even close yet but when it comes close and when it start doing good things in the beginning it will need maybe many babysittings from real character artists so in the beginning we will have uh, it as a tool and at the end probably it will continue to develop as a tool and we will be able to do very fast 
um, characters and stuff. Probably, I don't know. It's it's interesting what uh, will be the development of this. Uh, okay, you said it will be the two, but this two will help. Uh, you know, I I said. Uh, it's a tool, but uh, it will replace some of us. It's, it's, Probably. this is, uh, you know, because uh, if you, if this, this, two, this tool can make, for example, I, I, I will give example with me. Uh, if now, if, if I work as a 3D uh, designer uh, that you ask me with, for other things, you know, yes. if you are a big studio, what, what they will need for, uh, for example, 10 like me, they will uh, take uh, two like me and, Give, give me give, give him a IE that will make designs and they will just change the designs yeah of course uh, some people will definitely uh, lose their jobs that's inevitable yeah. exactly. but of course uh, yeah it's always like this with every new thing that comes some jobs are just uh, lost and some even disappear for now i don't think our job will disappear for but now at not... some point in the future we'll yeah, see yeah. The future, yes, but for now it's uh, still this tool is still um, young and uh, for for 3D. Uh, I didn't know there is there is a I for 3D. I think no. There are some eyes uh, AIs for 3D, but they are not they are not very good. I I seen them. I seen them in action. They are not as good as uh, nothing. They are just uh, pretty much bad. But uh, when we talk about losing jobs now the AI is uh, making very nice images, very nice concepts. And I don't see the concept artists still losing their jobs. Maybe. And maybe it will take some time. But still, they are, uh, they are working. So we'll see how it will develop. I, I can't say nothing about this, you know. <laughs> we, we, we will be... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So, we'll tell us see. about um, the game now. How did you uh, manage to... How did you uh, get the idea? Why... I mean, probably you always wanted to make a game, right? No? Uh, yeah, you know, always... I think uh, all, all of us want, want uh, wants one day to make a game or movie or something uh, bigger than just the images. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this was a dream, a dream that I uh, a big also... Project. Yeah, big project that you you express your ideas with this project, and uh, we will make a, so your your world that is in your head will make it to, to happen. To yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So you made the game called Glaucoma, uh, which is a horror shooter game, something like Doom, right? Yeah, exactly. Something like Doom, like uh, I don't know, like uh, Metro or something. Metro mix. Doom, yeah, mix of those. Yeah, it's uh, just uh, games. I can show you. Yeah, show uh, a little bit of. I see just uh, here. Just without sound, maybe or. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, just a uh, part of the level that. Uh, so uh, in this game, uh, it it looks pretty good. Uh, it has nice effects. It has uh, good animations, nice monsters, uh, weapons. Did you do everything by yourself? And uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, the, the coding I, I did all, all by myself. I again I, I um, learned many things, but this time from internet, from YouTube. There is a, a, a lot of uh, Unreal Four tutorials. You, you can learn whatever you need. You made it in uh, Unreal Three or Four? Four, four. Okay. Uh, I uh, about the 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 modeling and the texturing. I for the weapons I modeling uh, the weapons the animations the monsters the textures the environment i buy from um, par, um from the unreal store there is a uh, many assets that you can buy and uh, I, I buy one environment and uh, i um, extended you know added some stuff from from my stuff uh, yes. it's it's a mix at all but for uh, example who made this, the, this, the ui for example, I just wanted to say about the UI. I also uh, buy these icons are buy buy from a website. Uh, you bought uh, the icons, for, okay? For the icons, yes. Some of icons are made by myself. Others are buy it. You know, it's yeah. it's mixed. But uh, at all the animation, the many things are handmade by me, and. Uh, so you made the, 
This uh, game was a very big marathon, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how m how much time did you did it take you? How many uh, hours you worked a day uh, until you made this game? Uh, I, I, we I work it uh, uh, in game of with you at this time when I make the game. Maybe we remember. Yes. We, yeah, I, I was on a full time job in a game of but for yeah, it was not completely full time. Let's not uh, say that. Yeah, just just a second for three three ten, uh, days in a three week. Days a week, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, a, uh, in the uh, uh, next two days, in the weekend, I working to, on, on, on the game, and go, uh, about take me about uh, three years to, to complete it. Three years. So yeah. you worked like uh, sometimes uh, we may say like uh, 15 hours a day or something. Yeah, I, I can't remember how how exactly, but I work it all my free time. I spent it to, to make the, the game. Uh, uh, this is chapter learn. two, which was, which was not finished. Yeah, this is just a, it's old, old video, but I, uh, it's not finished. In this chapter, I make uh, the user to use to can drive the, the, the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, but it's just a just a video. Working. It's not uh, yeah. yeah it's, the first it's, part it's you play, can you can uh, the, the first part people can even play in uh, Unreal. They can buy it from Unreal store. Uh, Or uh, not from uh, okay. from no, from uh, from uh, uh, Steam. Steam from Steam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a very cheap. It's a, if if there is a way to to make it free, I will make. But Steam did not allow me to make it free. You can put uh, the lowest value. That was a, uh, I think, fifty uh, cent. No, what was? I can't remember. It's yeah, very so, cheap. Uh, yeah, it's it's just the first level. Uh, it's on sale on Steam. It's called Glowcoma. It's like glow, comma, uh, the name yeah. of the game, and it's um, it's like 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay, the first level, inside yeah, the tunnels. Yeah. This is the second level, but it's not finished, and you probably will not finish it, right? No, no. This is I was started uh, working on it, but uh, didn't not finish it. it, it it's uh, it, I don't know. In this, in um, in some point, I was. Uh, I see that to make a game alone is very hard in uh, how I to see, say. Uh, you see, uh, I will say something about this. I have seen whole studios with like uh, many uh, 20 people, like indie studios, and they are working for a certain type of game for like, let's say, uh, years. I mean, seven, ten years, and they cannot produce even close to this quality. So. I think you've done pretty well. Yeah, thank you. I, I, it, it just uh, this game was just uh, fun, you know. I, I, I uh, this game is a test uh, to to learn Unreal. I, I open Unreal Engine and say, oh, this is very good. I, I can try to import, for example, one model to see how it works, and I import one of my creatures and see that it's very easy. After that, I try to make animation. It's very easy. And I say, okay, it, it, it maybe it's too easy to make in a weapon to shoot these creatures. And at the end of the day, I have a, a small test that uh, one creature follow me, and I shoot it, shoot shoot him, shoot him, and he die. And I say, <laughs> oh, I, I can make a game, you know. <laughs> But you make the animations start... entirely in uh, Unreal. Uh, the animation, no, the animations are made in uh, 3D Studio Max. In 3D Max, okay. And uh, the, yeah. the weapons are made in Max, I guess. The the weapons are made in Max, and um, textures are made in uh, Photoshop. So, ah, in Photoshop, not in Substance yeah. Painter. No, I, I didn't use Substance Paint Painter at this moment. I just use it uh, Photoshop and ZBrush. Ah, okay. The so, interesting thing was uh, the yeah. the creatures in the game are uh, are, are um, uh, how is how to say it? Um, it's not the same. Uh, it's a, like a Z Builder in, integrated in the game. It's uh, any time the creatures uh, are different, but uh, you can it generates see... them. Ah, it's a it's a creature yeah. generator. You made it uh, in Unreal. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it generates different creatures almost, almost any time. But I didn't have a time to 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 polish that that idea. And uh, for the moment, they look uh, the same because I, they have to um, use different animations. You know, if you yes. have a different uh, meshes, but same animation. You can tell that this is different mesh, you know. 
if Richard animations is very important in the silhouettes and um, stuff. Yes, of course. Um, okay, for the game, it's cool. You made the whole game by yourself, which is a feat that uh, I don't think many people have done. There are people that have done it, but there are not many. I mean, <laughs> uh, the idea is here that uh, I want to ask you about uh, also about the Turbo Squid. We were working with you in Game Loft for like maybe five or six or seven years. I'm not sure how 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 many years you have worked in Game Loft. Can you re recall? When I leave Game Loft, I was I think my contract was uh, uh, seven years. Seven years. So. For seven years we were, we worked with you in the same studio. I learned a lot about um, uh, ZBrush, about how to work faster with short keys and everything from you, which is great. But then uh, also you, I I remember a period that you were doing models for Turbo Squid, and you were doing like two models a week, like for the weekend. Just on the weekends you were making like two models uh, for one a day or something like this. Do you remember? Yeah, uh, when you ask me this, uh, I think it's a. Uh, uh, how? Um, I, I I'm not uh, very like to speak about myself, so I will try to if can give some advice for the for some for the people that watch it. Uh, exactly the same as the Turbo Squid uh, that you asked me. Uh, the idea with the Turbo Squid was the same to make something that uh, it's modular. You can make a model for a very short time, and this model will look different than other model, you know? Yes. And uh, the, the idea with Turbo Squid is that uh, uh, when I start to, to, to make models uh, in the beginning, I did, a, in, in some point, I did a, a, some scene, you know? I set lighting, set, set uh, for example, uh, 10 skin shaders, make, make 10 skin shaders, make, 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 make 10 uh, metal shaders, and all this in 3D Max. And after that, when you uh, have a, a model with this uh, scene, you can use it for a guide for any other models that you make. For example, uh, 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 I delete this model and sculpt, fast sculpt some other model in ZBrush. I, I have the sa same techniques for, for the texturing. I, I have, a, a, for example, give example, 10 texture, skin textures, different uh, patterns and uh, stuff. Uh, I uh, I have a I, I, I was a um, uh, script that uh, mix these uh, textures in a different way to, to make the, the, the textures look different anytime and at all uh, everything is uh, very modular if you want to be fast you have to um, to make your uh, your work uh, place yes, uh, I understand you don't have to do everything from scratch like I do yeah exactly and, <laughs> if you have to be the, very fast if you want yeah, to yeah this is the answer fast. that you may ask me about the turbo script when I have all this uh, uh, order in my uh, scenes my materials I just uh, take from here put here scope fast and you have a model in the end of the day that uh, it's different than, than, than other yes, but uh, and, uh, and, and I remember you paid one of our animators to um, rig the models uh it's Saka. ah it's Saka. uh-huh uh yeah i i uh, i have to the models have to be rigged but at this point i didn't uh, still didn't manage the idea for rigging uh many uh, all the models you know i have a pipeline for texturing materials lighting and meshes and i give it to one of the our riggers that make rig fast rigging and uh, i the model this is this is the final you have a model with yeah. lighting material textures and read it and just you can just take this model and use it what yeah for i showed it in the last life uh, you have like 108 models in your turbo squid yeah and there was a question here i don't think uh, you have to answer this question how much money uh, the turbo squid makes you but if you want i don't know uh i i prefer to not talk about the money because um for That's me, the money, yeah. it's a, uh, how to say it? I can give answer in another way. One month you can get, get good monies, the other month you can get very less money. Yes, almost it nothing. Depends of the, of the, depends of the, um, of the community, what it's urgent in this moment. I can give you advice also if you want to, uh, Turbo Squid is very good job, job, job if you want to, to make money. But uh, you have to make, of course, models 
and the most uh, most um, uh, important thing is to know what uh, it's um, will be searched this will be searched this month. For example, I will give maybe bad example, but uh, I'm sure when the war with the Russia and uh, Ukraine starts, uh, Turbo Squid its uh, um, models were uh, the, the biggest sellers was uh, military models because any television any uh, 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 how to uh, commercials and stuff and uh, uh, use these models for uh, these commercials, you know. Yes. Uh, and for for when the Christmas come and or some other uh, holiday uh, and stuff for Christmas, so, uh, you be sure that uh, any uh, snow uh, objects or как беше елха. Christmas tree. Okay, so Christmas tree and uh, 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 Santa Claus will be buy it and, and this is the idea of Turbo Squid. You have to know, maybe similar to what trading with the, you know, trading what is. Uh, you have to know what the market needs this this month. Exactly. And you, you, yeah. And you can get you can uh, get very good money. Okay. Otherwise, I didn't watch this because I just do what I want to do. I do creatures, you know. Yeah. Monsters, creatures. Yeah, I, I, I have a pipeline for that. I, I can make creatures, models and stuff and stuff. Okay, but if you want to uh, make money, only money uh, in Turbo Squid, you can just follow this, uh, this, um, this rule. Of course, but it, it is for everything. If you want to sell whatever, you have to look for the trending stuff. What is trending at the moment? Although, uh, as you did and you did good, as uh, you are doing what's what you can do best and it turns out that uh, at some points it uh, it is uh, it is searched for example uh, when we were doing the zombies and stuff you were one of the first in turbo squid to do nice zombies and they were um, then the walking dead series were pretty famous and people were searching for those things so it's cool maybe yeah. yes yes and when when the walking dead series was uh, famous as you said they start to get to make more movies or games like this, you know, yeah. because it's famous at the moment. And maybe they buy these zombie models because uh, they need it. Of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, some guys say when Barbie is trending, the best to start selling Barbie models on Turbo Squid. Of course, uh, maybe yes, as yes. the other guy said, uh, the, the other guy said it's uh, <laughs> it's it's normal <laughs> just to sell, to sell a beautiful woman it's always a search for ah, it's not a problem. this is a perfect uh, recommendation yeah, yeah if you make a beautiful woman always will be always selling will for... be selling yeah yeah <laughs> i'm sure that uh, the the users that make uh, beautiful women in turbo squid uh, in the beginning are millionaires at the moment <laughs> probably yeah <laughs> because uh, there's there a question no by the way what are your thoughts of risk of people buying your models but afterwards selling it themselves separately? Is it happened? Uh, in this case, uh, the, uh, uh, Turbo Squid have uh, uh, some kind of uh, protection in in this in this case. Mm -hmm. If they find them, they they have some system or exam or I or some kind that follow other sites uh, with the if they, they are put uh, some models like this. Uh, you sign uh, uh, some contract uh, about this when you start selling in Turbo Squid. They, they will protect uh, um, your models in this way. I don't know how it works. Yeah, or, probably they are uh, having a lot of people who are searching constantly for. Maybe, I don't know. maybe, I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe this is a. They have a, a support team that searching other sites for for the for the model. I don't know how these people can know uh, all models in Turbo Squid to search yeah, it to see. Okay, uh, we have the same dog, for example. We have the same, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, human. Uh, don't know. Yeah, but uh, Turbo Squid. When you upload a model in Turbo Squid, you cannot upload it in other uh, sites, right? Uh, no, you can, uh, but uh, if you want to be, it's uh, uh, called uh, Squid Guild. Uh, this is a, an, another contract that you uh, sign with the site. Uh, they will give you more uh, percent for the sale if you sell only there. If but it's exclusive if, for Turbo Squid, you will get more money. Exactly, yes. But uh, you can, uh, if you're not exclusive, you can s sell it on other sites, but you, you, you will be not be uh that, that kind of uh, squid guilt or something yeah 
So mm -hmm. uh, let's go and talk about your clay sculptures, maybe, because uh, I know that um, recently you have done, I mean, last year, I think, or last two years, you yeah. have done some clay sculptures with your hands. So from digital sculptor, you became a uh, traditional one. Uh, although I think before you start doing, uh, yeah, <laughs> what was this? So before you start doing the um, the digital sculpting, I think you have done some. Your brother told me, by the way, that you have done some uh, traditional sculpts before that. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, before um, uh, starting uh, with the with the digital, I, I used to work work with uh, clay or some kind of plastiline or modeling. So you have you have some experience. With yeah, traditional sculpt some... before you start doing uh, the the yeah uh, the passion know. of the modeling is uh, before the digital was uh, with the traditional material. With I, me, it I, was I... not like this. I was uh, I'm I haven't have I don't have any experience with traditional sculpting. Only digital. I'm only digital sculptor with symmetry <laughs> and everything. You know. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, the digital sculpting. Sculpting is uh, the, the the most amazing because it's very easy, very it's very easy, very, yeah, very fast. Uh, you know. Show us in the in your art station. Show us the 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 clay heads. Let's see and and uh, tell us some things about the traditional sculpting. Some you know how you do them. Maybe okay. Uh, for example, this one lion. Just a second to but see. How did you manage to get references just from internet? From for the uh, yeah, just for internet, and, and I go a few times to the zoo. You know, in Sofia there is a zoo, and we have a lions there. For example, for this, uh, uh, I, I but mostly I use reference from from internet, and uh, uh, but for just a second, this one also is. Uh, this is a doc. It's doc. only for for reference from internet. It's not a. Uh, but you have a doc. Show us your doc uh, in the next to your monitor. You have a doc. Yes. I have doc. Uh, just a second. I Did have you a use, doc. Have you used the doc? Mm, uh, just a second. I have a this doc. No, just just stop the sharing. It's um. It will be interesting. Uh, uh, did you see the? the yeah, I'm, see I'm my... seeing still your screen. Stop the sharing and show us on the camera. Ah, okay. Yeah, stop uh, if, sharing. If, uh, I'm, you mean uh, okay? Uh, confirm yes. stop sharing. Okay. Yes. Now. And now, yeah, now we can see the camera. Show us uh, just... some of your figurines that you have. Okay, this is a uh, one print of my model of the dog. And I, this is your I, model. Yeah, I maybe I. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, it's, uh, visible, uh, it's visible, it's visible, it's visible. Yeah, it's a... Uh... But uh, do you have a, a model that's just anatomy of a dog or no? Yeah, yeah. I just dog anatomy it. model. I have it. This, this model is, uh, I buy it a uh, very old model, but it's from one very good anatomy artist. I think uh, the, the name was uh, Steve, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Ward. It's looking very good. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing uh, anatomy scalp figure. Uh, I think he he was make it on a ZBrush and uh, printed, and the material is very very good and very heavy because inside there's a, a metal plate or something to can really? stand better. Wow. And uh, maybe you can see it like this or. Yeah, yeah it's visible. Yeah. So you have yeah. a horse, also horse anatomy. You have yeah. yeah. This uh, is the later, human. later uh, models that uh, I buy for reference. Is a uh, horse. Yeah, those are models that you have bought for uh, this, reference. This yet, so I, I get anatomy. from from uh, from a website uh, anatomy tools. Anatomy tools. Yeah, and this figure here for the female, it's also from uh, this website. I have a uh, many. A lot of me models. I have also a crocodile from this website. Really? Yeah. Where just, is it? Just a second. It will be interesting. I like to see the crocodile. Anatomy of the crocodile. It's. I, I can say it's not a perfect, but I like the idea. You can yeah, see. Yeah, it's pretty it. cool. 
you see, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But a very nice crocodile. Yeah, it's it's interesting if you can see the details from close up. I don't know. And uh, it's a good idea. I I, I think um, I, I buy it not on, not exactly for the anatomy because uh, how to say it, the crocodile anatomy is very specific. But I, yes. I, but I did I buy it for the for, for for the idea, you know, because to support the the team that uh, make this kind of models yeah, because it's, it's a cool. it's a different. It's not a standard model and or a horse or dog. It's a crocodile. Yeah. It's a... you like uh, creatures and the the crocodile is yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. creature. Yeah. So you have a lot of creatures also around you uh, there. You have a lot of alien uh, models. Collection from maybe maybe from I don't know, to twenty five years maybe. Twenty five yes. years you have collected all uh, those figurines, uh, and the dinosaurs one, never... from Jurassic Park and uh, even uh, pre predator head, <laughs> big one. And top is the soma. Um, uh, T Rex model from Sideshow collectible. The idea of um, mostly of uh, I have more, but not not, not here. Uh, the idea from these uh, figures is um, uh, that uh, the, the 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 side as I said the, the company name it Sideshow uh, make the modes from the original models uh, of the movies. You know uh, uh, con uh, concept models that they use for reference to sculpt the biggest model. Yeah, for yeah. example, the Predator, the Alien, the Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs, and it's uh, another value because uh, this is a really the original stuff that uh, somebody it's sculpted. It's yes, it's it's mode. It's uh, not the, the 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 most original model, but uh, it's different. I, it's I, I just very feel, close, very close to the yeah, original. It's, yeah, it's some some small part that come from there. In uh, for me, uh, for me, this is another value, you know. Very and here, I, have, uh, I don't know that you can see it. You can see it now, or the predate the predator predator. Yeah, and I have an alien queen up upstairs. <laughs> yeah, alien queen, we see. Yeah, uh, and, and this is yeah, golem. Yeah, I also have. Um, I, I I see you also create uh, some three D three D models. Uh, print, you print print some of your models. Yeah, I'm printing mo mo uh, most of my models uh, that I do for those courses. Uh, the last one, of course, is the girl uh, here. This one, you cannot see it because uh, yeah, the people can't see, see it. it. Yeah, this is the last course. It became pretty well, a pretty good one of my uh, most detailed ones. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, your working environment is very, uh, how to say, inspiring. I mean, all those figurines that you have put all around you and you work there. But nowadays, I understand you don't sculpt that much. Yeah, I didn't uh, sculpt uh, as much because uh, I start uh, mostly with the with the programming, uh, if you can say it, programming with ZBrush and Unreal last last yes. days before the programming with this, and I find that this is the for me it's a more interesting and more uh, more more creative uh, for in my opinion, you know, the, the coding and stuff because you can. Yeah, you, uh, but if you, you you told me uh, like few years ago when we, you were doing the game Glaucoma, you told me that. Uh, Unreal Engine is something completely amazing. You are so obsessed with it, and you were doing this. Now you are doing uh, your final project. Now that you are working on is the Substance Painter. Uh, let's say Substance Painter for ZBrush. <laughs> it's uh, something like a plugin, almost like Substance Painter, but for ZBrush. Inside ZBrush, you can make materials. You can just uh, select materials. You can change materials, like uh, build paint or uh, skin or whatever and you are working on that now so yeah very very creative in my opinion and uh, a lot of things whatever you start doing it's mostly unique and uh, not many people have done this kind of things and uh, nobody has done a plugin like yours i think i mean the z builder and the z animal builder and now this one how it would it will be called uh, this one will be called uh, z texturator z, z texture Texturator. Texturator. Yeah, okay. Z-Texturator. Something like Texture Generator. Texturator. Something like this, yeah. Because it, it, it most for texturing your model. 
with yes. the ZBrush. Yeah, but, you uh, need uh, a little bit it, of UVs, and then uh, with with yeah. ZBrush, UVs are very easy to make with uh, with ZBrush. Sure, whatever you have, but the idea of the plugin is that uh, it's a, a unique way of uh, texturing. Uh, it uses uh, uh, it's not um, nothing similar in ZBrush that you uh, you know mm, not painting. Uh, you just use presets, just uh, select one preset. Like a substance painter, put it on the model, and it, it will the model will look like, a, for example, rusted uh, uh, metal or a, a curvature map uh, and a edge map. Uh, you know everything that make your model to look uh, more realistic. And you in this in this plugin, the idea is just to texture your models and directly put it in uh, in Unreal Engine. For example, you know that uh, the last Unreal Engine. Did, uh, can uh, take a very big uh, poly count. And um, yes. the idea of also the, the plugin can help with this if you have uh, some fast sculpt, for example, sculpting something that uh, it's a uh, or environment part or something, just sculpt it, uh, uh, make it one fast UV with UV master, decimate it with ZBrush, and texture it with the, the, with the plugin and directly put it in Unreal with uh, no other. Uh, or topology and something, you have a good texture and a good model, you know, in polycount that it's uh, okay for Unreal because it, it, uh, Unreal can take, a, you, you can decimate it more, uh, of course, but uh, just a fast pipe pipeline in my mind that... Uh, yeah, so when you make uh, the first uh, trailer video of this, uh, we can show it here in the channel at some point. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the Stranger Things, I forgot to, to mention that you have worked for the monster uh, gargoyle or how is what it was called i, I think it was something like this yes gr gr I, I will not say yeah, because something it, like this it was some strange but, maybe it's gar gargoyle there's not something <laughs> like this yeah oh. and uh, yeah so uh, i this was a uh, one of the latest projects that i worked for aram because uh, um I stopped uh, working for Aaron since after uh, right after I start my game because uh, as I said I working in a uh, game often start working on my game and Aaron seems uh, how it's uh, I can yeah, take you don't have time for this so yeah yeah, yeah but so. in in also the Aaron seems uh, was amazing uh, opportunity to work but in in time you start to want uh, one one more want to make game and stuff and I uh, I, and I keep my work in um, a game of because you know game of like a very good guys like you I met many people like in there that uh, maybe only you there <laughs> only you and your brother is in game of is he still there <laughs> yeah, yeah he will be there I think game uh, to the end of the game of <laughs> he's the captain of the ship <laughs> the pusky card uh, yeah, yeah. I joke. Uh, so I'm showing now uh, the the final concept from Aaron Sims company for the. If you Gordon. want, I can share my screen. If you easy. Yeah, you can uh, you can share it. I guess. No, this is a personal project for some guy. So you share your screen and show us. Uh, yeah. Uh, this we, is the doc. Uh, okay. We see the yeah, doc now. Uh, you uh, you uh, last you uh, ask me about the sculptures. I forgot yeah, the sculptures. To... So for yeah, these uh, uh, people sculptures, you were using real photographs yeah, made no, from this, different for angles. No, I use uh, real people, and I take photos on, of uh, there and uh, sculpt it uh, from the photos. And uh, at the end, I uh, not at the end. At some point, I ask the people to come to 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 to, to, to to me to yeah, you know, to, to see the details more. So most of the the heads that you have done are from your friends. So this is your friend, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this is for the. Uh, this is you know who is this, and uh, this is a. Uh, this is not a real person. This is also yeah. a, for for just idea, for some old guy. Uh, and uh, no, yes, the, the the other persons. This is one of my colleagues in uh, the studio, and I make his his portrait. <laughs> With the towel, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I use this towel to clean my desk and I put it on the head. <laughs> After that, I use it in other sculptures. <laughs> and I don't know, the, the, the sculpting, sculpting with clay is uh, 
very relaxing at all and uh, it's a different experience you, but you it's, know it's that much it's, much slower than the zbrush or blender or whatever sculpting you can do uh, digital yeah but uh, it's a, as i said it's a different uh, experience yes yeah i would like to do it someday probably but uh, i have to to make some income which is coming you know and uh, then to just leave time yeah. for this yeah, I understand you. So you this want... is th these are your sculpts, right? But uh, no, digital this ones. Is, uh, this is uh, I have a 3D printer and I print some of my my models. Yes. Uh, this is a model for that I make fan art for a game Doom, Doom and I yeah. wanted to uh, I from the beginning of this game I I loved this game. This was a very amazing game for me as a young guy when it as uh, a creature uh, creator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I was a young guy, uh, this game, when this game was released, this one was a v very um, amazing creature for me. The designer is uh, uh, Kenneth Scott, I think. Uh, the, I, I'm sure it's, this is the name of the guy. Uh, and uh, I make a, I, I always dream to have a figure of this uh, creature, but uh, they want no uh, company produce a figure. And I sculpted it in ZBrush and then and one day I printed and it's good, uh, good figure. I think it's. Uh, so your printer is with uh, with a cord or with uh, liquid uh, stuff? With no, with the cord. It's a uh, old printer. And, an but old I, 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 I love uh, to to after that you see it here the to the machine to the Dremel. Yeah, yeah, to to to. I like the idea to put to clean some it, hand uh, then to put a little bit of a putty uh, on it and to uh, yeah, yeah yeah exactly. Just uh, something like sculpting on top of the figure. Yeah, this is the model that it's printed. The doc. This yeah. doc. Uh, uh, you asked me about the the, the strange thing, I think, or yeah. Uh, I found it somewhere, but uh, since you have so many things, nobody can we, tell we, you where it is. Ah, it's here! It's here! It's here! Yeah. We talk about uh, the the conversation about this, you know, no, and I found it. This is a version that I work working for Aaron Sims. Yes, mm. and they changed it a little bit. The face, especially, is a little bit uh, changed. Mm, yeah, they may. I think they make this uh, to spread this mouth a little bit more. Yeah, bigger. This uh, curve here, it's not. Uh, not maybe much. I think it's, there is a changes after that. Uh, I can't remember. You just asked me yeah, about this. This is the initial uh, design, and then they changed it. Yeah. A little bit. But, uh, to uh, go to the. Uh, if I have, I have many designs. As I said, that is not in my portfolio. If you ask me, uh, you. I think you ask me, uh, is there something favorite uh, of my designs? But it's not here. It's not in this uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. I haven't uh, asked you, but it's cool that you bring it up. It's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I think this, this, uh, you, you know, many of the people, I'm sure that a fan of Turtle Ninja's uh, cartoon. Yeah. And I think uh, this one also is, I, I like it when I work it on this project because uh, Turtle Ninja, t -t -t uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles yeah. was an amazing uh, cartoon. Everybody mm. likes them. Uh, at least I do. So probably other people also. Uh, but uh, yeah, people are uh, interested. What do you do for a living now? I mean, how do you manage? You, you're not doing freelance and stuff. You are just relying on the sales uh, of your uh, yeah. plugins uh, and uh, Turbo Squid. And other things. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I'm not uh, at the moment. I'm how to say it. I didn't. Um, uh, I, I get the money how to live normal, you know, and I working uh, the, the stuff that I I like. I make uh, create the plugins, uh, uh, date it with the content, and this is my idea. This, this was my idea one day to to do whatever what I want. I make clay sculptures in my free time, you know, and uh, models for Turbo Squid, uh, and uh, I, I get money, but it's not a. Uh, Something that you you know, it's not for example to say to, to tell I make very good money. I yeah. make money to go how to live normal. And uh, I'm happy. One that, guy is uh, asking uh, where can you learn to create plugins like ZBuilder. <laughs> is there some place you can learn to create plugins like ZBuilder? Uh, 
Ми... There are no tutorials about that, right? No, no, this, the, the plugins, uh, mostly all the plugins and stuff and uh, tools and softwares are just ideas. You have to have idea and uh, to, to make this idea after this, after that you can, you, you for example, you ask me about the ZBuilder. Okay, I have uh, the idea of this tool for many years. And uh, when you have idea after that, you, you will start to, to finding the, find the, the tools that you will need, the, the, the skills that you will need to, to, to make this tool. So if you have to, if you want to learn how is how to make plugin like ZBuilder that you asked me, is uh, maybe it's just uh, many many things that you need to learn. So the the language is uh, Z script or how it is called? Yeah, if you want to make uh, maybe I, I didn't not explain it that well. Yeah, if you just ask me about the language, it's Z scripting. Yes. This, this script, script? This, this, and how do you script. learn this script? Is it uh, in the site of ZBrush or somewhere? Uh, they yes, can learn? You, you, you can learn uh, uh, this script from the ZBrush uh, site. There is a section uh, this scripting, and there is uh, all the commands that you that you that this scripting uh, uh, have has. You know all the, the the commands that you yeah, th this answers the question i think uh, it's uh, absolutely yeah, answers I, the question you yeah, have to yeah, go yeah, to the yeah. zebra site and this script section and there are all the commands and you can uh, use yeah. them to create the plugin that's completely yeah, I, I think it uh, the, the the guy asked me about uh, how to you know how to create that, that plugin i <laughs> I start start to explain it very yeah, plugin so, like this. I mean a plugin. Not exactly this plugin, ah, but a plugin okay, okay. Sorry, similar sorry. to this one, like yeah, yeah. Uh, almost a separate program. I mean this is yeah, uh, your plugin is, is obviously something like a separate program. Yes, yes, yes. I am sorry, I understand. It's very, yeah, uh, very complicated. Yeah, uh, so this is the you answer the question this scripting uh, as I said earlier. This scripting is the also language. Um, most people will not be able to do it since they don't have the help of the guy that you said you had the help with, you know, uh, to help you. The guy, the guy, I uh, said, Marcus, uh, is, uh, amazing, but, uh, if you want to, this, this, uh, this didn't need to demotivate you start learning. You will find another guy like him, for example, I think in ZBrush Center, there's, uh, other, uh, art programmers that help. <laughs> It's another another stuff. It's like a 3D modeling. If you need to model 3D modeling, you will find a guy or people that will help that you will share your yes, your. Yes. Uh, so you, you know. have to have first a very good idea of a nice plugin. Then you have to start doing it with the tools that are available in ZBrush. Like exactly, uh, Zetsu did it the same way. He started doing it with layers, with uh, with merging, not merging um, this between Morphing. layers. What? Uh, you mean morphing layers? Morphing, or... yeah, morphing between layers and stuff. And uh, at, with time, it developed uh, with uh, the Z script and everything. It became like a separate program almost, but of course, it uses ZBrush as a base. Yes. Yeah. If you if if you need to 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 make plugin, just start learning Z script, and you will make it. Uh, for, uh, unfortunately, th there is no uh, many video tutorials. I think there is a few in YouTube for Z scripting, but uh, mostly you have to 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 learn it from the docu documentations and practice, like everything. Yeah, you have practice to just, is uh, uh, always yeah. yes. Uh, you know, trial and error is uh, the best way in this case, most likely. You yes, have to yes. try it. And then try something else. Then try everything is about hundreds and hundreds of hours put yeah. into this. I, and I you have to be, as I said, you have to be um, more, much more psychopathic than normal people to to do this. Usually. <laughs> it's not recommended, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not recommended, but it's needed, I think, because otherwise you will not be able to put all this time. You will get frustrated, and you will say, "Fuck it," you will just go away. But if you are like concentrated um, and super, you know, pumped to do this, you will not uh, give up. And when you don't give up at some point, probably it will happen. But uh, as I said, man, most people will give up at some point because there are difficulties always. I guess with the game that you have done, there were a lot of difficulties at some points that you have to overcome. Yeah, yeah. There were a lot of hours of uh, doing things and then you have to go back and uh, start from scratch and stuff like this. 
that many people will just say this is not worth it at all but this psychopathic thing in your head will just uh, give you the strength to continue and to just keep digging you know that's the thing yeah yeah Nico said perfect it is but uh, at all it's good to say to have a time for other stuff this is my recommendation especially okay uh, do you hear me idea for everybody uh, for the life itself let me tell you guys the uh the idea of life why do we live why everybody is alive to be happy and if sculpting is making you happy sculpt if uh, something else is making you happy do it uh but remember that uh, there is something that makes happy and something that brings happiness to everybody uh, in my experience is family and kids so take your priorities a little bit you know family is uh, i think should be the priority many people think especially in their young age that family is like something that we can do someday and so uh, and of course for that for them it's okay to just focus on their career focus on the sculpting focus on something else or coding or whatever they wanted but at some point you have to pro prioritize probably the family and uh, in order to be happy otherwise at some point you will not get the same amount of happiness from sculpting or from doing anything if uh there is a problem with your family for example it's it's not good in my opinion this is my opinion yeah, yeah. i can i just cannot uh, add to, to 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 your speech something that uh, it's a uh, do what you feel no mother no no other thing uh, it's important I think what what you feel at the moment sometimes is dangerous because for example these days i'm very lazy and i cannot do anything and i just start something i do some skits uh, for example today i did uh, what i did let me sh i will show it here you will not be able to see it but the people will see it i did this today <laughs> just for because i didn't know what to do you know and uh, i do some heads other heads and stuff yeah let's see this just from sphere i start but nothing um like i say ultra creative or something because i feel like i don't want to do anything i, I feel like i want to uh, lay down and read a book for example and i do that for a couple of hours every day i just read a book i start <clears throat> i started uh, the wheel of time uh series again i started it back in the days uh, like maybe 17 years ago i started it but i reached only the fifth book i think now i plan to read all of them which is great well yeah uh, sometimes you have to just push yourself to do the job to do something to improve yourself to become better artist or to become uh to to learn a little bit more today something whatever it is even another language or uh, whatever because you can sculpt and learn, learn spanish uh in your free time of sculpting but many people are working by the way that's uh, that's a big issue that many people are having a main job eight hours a day and then they come back from it a little bit tired and a lot tired sometimes and they have to sculpt because this is their dream job they want to be a 3d character artist for example they need to s s sit and to sculpt but uh, in the second hours they sleep in, in front of their computer and that's that's a pity that's a problem that's difficult yeah uh, i remember your brother how did he how he started he was a wrestler he was uh, in some other businesses but nothing to do with sculpting nothing to do with 3d art and suddenly at some point he closed himself in the in your apartment in vratza for at least one year i think it was uh every day for more than 12 hours every day nothing doing nothing more than tutorials sculpting zbrush tutorials zbrush tutorials and uh, in one year he was very good i mean uh, he managed to get the job in game loft just uh, without any yeah. issue they even wanted him in mask head in the same time with twice the salary of game loft by the way but he well, refused. I, didn't, I didn't know that yeah the, uh, i mean he was already in game loft for a couple of months 
and then they called him in Muscat for an interview and uh, they gave him like twice the amount of money they gave in Gamelot but he said no and uh, yeah that was they then bumped, bumped his salary in Gameloft anyways so and now he's still in Gameloft while we are not <laughs> And I, uh, other thing is just uh, to not uh, to be focused when you do something because in these days you know how many think can you defocus your attention. There is a you know when when we start learning uh, uh, our uh, our craft. Yeah, there were no even yeah. there was not even YouTube back then. Yeah, yeah, not only YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram. What? Uh, yeah, there, there was nothing like this. Yeah, a few chat programs and uh, the, at the moment I think um, it's very hard to, to it's the people very difficult to, to concentrate. To... You have a lot of distractions. You have yeah, yeah, yeah. short videos on uh... YouTube. You have short videos in Facebook. You have not so short videos uh, everywhere. You have Netflix. Netflix is a big distraction, by the way. Uh, since I have a Netflix uh, subscription like a few months ago, now I'm watching. Uh, Picky blinders, and I uh, I can spend like a couple of hours uh, every day, which are lost. I mean, I'm watching a TV series. I I don't work. I I don't get better. Those are lost uh, hours. So it's not that good. Yeah, but this is a, in this in some cases uh, just a relaxation. But if you if if this take your all, for example, uh, half of the day, it, uh, it's a it's a distraction. It's a you know, uh, your attention is some for someone else is not good because yeah. uh, it's a parasitic. Uh, all this uh, uh, stuff is parasit to your mind, <laughs> and wanted to take it to take over on it. Exactly, it's difficult these days. Okay, uh, is there something uh, else that we have to talk about? I don't remember anymore. Hmm. I don't know. I think. Uh, I we managed to cover almost everything. Yeah, I'm uh, like a uh, reader book at, at you and the people that watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just wanna wanna say that probably after all these things that we have covered, the games, working for uh, this uh, Aaron Sims company, working for so many uh, movies, uh, Hollywood blockbusters, and uh, even TV, even TV series, games. People probably now understand why I call you one of the most successful 3D artists in Bulgaria and not only in Bulgaria, but mostly in Bulgaria, yeah. Uh, with so many things, but yeah, not everybody can do it. I mean, there are s very few people that can actually do it and that will do it, <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay, thank you, Nico, about this. I am, your words are very important for me, uh, uh, but I think. Um, uh, in in this case, uh, the example that you give is uh, okay, but the, the problem, um, uh, how to say it, I'm not I'm not uh, very talented like other people. I'm just very focused and um, very, as as you said, psychopathic. Yeah, uh, for in my case, is very many working. You know, hard working a lot on of hard something. Work, yeah, mostly is that. Yeah, this is the the. I'm not a, I'm not a good a, as an artist like the other people. I'm just a worker. You know. You're a hard worker. <laughs> if if I I, 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 I say this said this about for the if like uh, like advice if uh, someone is like me and see it's not so good like other just work more and we will manage some level you know yes if uh, they have uh, a big enough desire to do something it, yeah, they exactly. will do it it will happen yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, because exactly they will put the necessary time there is a guy who who asks if you have uh, your first portfolio before the jobs and stuff like this but as we already said uh, no you don't have no, there's nothing a, uh, from 3d studio max times before zbrush and the in the beginnings of ZBrush uh, so there is nothing we can see except for in Grafilla by the way if we dig the... I, I, I try you tried dig, but uh, in the hosting you know in host uh, BG site when we wet, where we hosted at this time always uh, deleted 
Fantastic. Uh, uh, okay, but if we go to, um, uh, okay, I think we. Uh, okay, you are Alfred Hitchcock, right? Yeah, but I, uh, yesterday I try when you. Uh, no, I found me, it. I found it. Um, I will give you the the link to see it yourself. Yeah, r really. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no. I can share my screen for you. No, I will give you the link just to give you the link. Yeah, give me a link. I, I can see the, the share at the moment. No, give you the link and you will see it. Uh, so uh, tell us about this creature. How do you, how did you do it? Do it? Uh, <laughs> with yeah, 3D Max or with what? One ah, ZBrush 2. It says here, 3D Studio Max 8 ZBrush 2 Photoshop CS2. Yeah, yeah, this is very odd. Yeah, this is a ZBrush. This is one of the first... Uh, <laughs> I can't say the first, but uh, of the few first tries with ZBrush. Yeah, so this is uh, you. You made the basic basics with Max, I guess, and then you put it in the ZBrush to put the the details, yeah, yeah, the yeah. muscles, and everything. In ZBrush two, there was a no no way to. You can start for, from sphere, for example, but the um, to pull the image was not existent. Yeah, no, yeah. no, very stretched. So I think uh, I make this in the three D Studio Max as a very basic form and yeah. sculpted. In ZBrush, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is one of the first uh, uh, tries with ZBrush. It uh, was a uh, some competition for uh, uh, fantastic what was... uh, animal for riding. Okay. Fantastic yeah, riding exactly. animal. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's not com completed, but yeah, this is one of the who who that you that you find it. Yeah, it's in the um, um, in the. Творбите на участниците могат да разгледате тук като лично, фантастично изжитно животно. Творбите на участниците може да разгледате тук има такава тема, тя е втората. Да, да, там да, може да, да видиш всичките. Uh, I, was, I was telling him how to, how to find it in Bulgarian, because it's faster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, you can hear a little bit Bulgarian. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I just can add something, when you show me this old work, I remember uh, that um, when you asked me about the uh, uh, 3D designs, you know, yeah. uh, all my most of all my renders in uh, here in uh, this portfolio are made in ZBrush. Yes. Uh, this one and this and this uh, was a very speed uh, for the designs because I used ZBrush as a render uh, and I pushed the ZBrush at the maximum um, that uh, ZBrush can pr produce as a render. And I mean ZBrush two and three are. Uh, uh, oh, this I was ZBrush 3.5, I think, or ZBrush yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, like but this. I I wanted to say that uh, to say that uh, it, uh, I use ZBrush 2 and 3 uh, best render, not BPR, that ah. uh, was uh, released la uh, later. Yes. So yeah, I know, uh, and you are famous uh, in our um, in our community for the guy that made the best ZBrush renders ever. So not everybody can do this uh, renders in ZBrush, just you. And also, of course, then you use a little bit of Photoshop, but uh, most of yeah, the work is done only in ZBrush. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, Photoshop, but the ZBrush was uh, I. Uh, this this render also was in ZBrush. I remember it's a good uh, result. I use it. The um, this was when when was released the uh, fibers, you know. Fiber mesh, yeah. It's so, uh, guys, what you can get from this is ZBrush can be very good for renderings if you are Tetsu. Tetsu is our, <laughs> our guest now. <laughs> if you are not no. Tetsu, it will be difficult. It will be uh, very difficult. He just I, knows I, how to do it, you know. I, I, I can say that uh, if uh, ZBrush was uh, famous as uh, as this period, this time when when I work it on on uh, on uh, these uh, models, if I make a plugin for rendering in ZBrush, it was be very it will be very successful at this time yes. because. Uh, there is uh, only 3D Studio Max and Maya for rendering and uh, XSI and these softwares required um, high, uh, you know, ZBrush didn't have a decimation. It was very hard process to export the model from ZBrush and it takes a long time. If uh, at this time, if I make a plugin for rendering in ZBrush with uh, presets of materials like Keyshot, I, I, I have idea to make this. It was be it will be very successful and very. Yeah, nowadays Keyshot is uh, very cool for renderings from ZBrush because yeah, it can him, support high poly models. Perfect, yes. It's perfect. It's I have a yeah. course for that also. Many people know that. And uh, but yeah, your your renders from ZBrush are amazing. Nowadays I I hear that ZBrush has 
something like redshift render or integrated or separate i'm not sure how it works exactly yeah it's uh, it's integrated uh, as a uh, additional uh, price you have to pay but additional price yeah, to, yeah i to still fund. didn't uh, tr tr try it but um i know i didn't use zbrush for rendering anymore so i i i, I don't know i didn't try it and I don't know. Matter. We we don't yeah. speak about ZBrush too much in this channel, uh, just because I don't use it for like uh, one and a half years anymore. That's uh, why ZBrush is like a little bit uh, off from this uh, channel. Yeah. Mostly Blender. We are talking about Blender. But as I said, any program that is that you can sculpt in is absolutely okay if you can afford it, of course. And in my opinion, Blender is more affordable. If you think otherwise, I don't know. Maybe you're a Russian hacker from Torrents or whatever. You take your models. <laughs> I mean, mm. the people, you know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no, I think the, uh, the problem in this case is that uh, many studios. If you, if for example, uh, if you're now you are uh, just a guy that start learning some software, and if you learn ZBrush and learn it perfect, you can sculpt and stuff and stuff, and you go in some studio. And they will say, oh, we, we didn't use ZBrush, it's expensive for us, we use Blender, we have, a, a, for example, 50% uh, that uh, if you buy 50 lessons for ZBrush, it will be... It will be ultra expensive, much. of course. And this is the case that you, the, the users have to learn Blender, you know, because yes. the industry will require it uh, in time. At some point, the uh, industry will go into Blender more and more, because Blender now, uh, in about for about two years blender is completely capable of almost everything uh, that zbrush can do even not everything completely but uh, most things uh, there is a question by the way how did you get into game loft i think um, i know the answer because uh, when you you come into game loft before that you were a star you were uh, let's say famous in the industry so since your brother was in game loft uh, you he just uh, told you do you want to work with game loft you said okay you made the contract with with the manager and they wanted you because you were famous you know that's one of the reasons that uh, when you become I... famous when you make a lot of good things and make a name for yourself then it's much easier to go into whatever company you want uh -huh. Okay, I I I'm, I cannot agree with all of this because I don't think I'm I'm a famous in some kind of. Uh... Did you make a test for Game Loft? No, I didn't make no. a test. But uh, the the manager at this at this at this, at this, this, this time uh, asked my brother to if uh, I want to to go to uh, uh, Game Loft and uh, yes. they will offer me something. So I go there and I speak with the manager and stuff and I see that it's a very good guy and the project is interesting. And his idea was to uh, some kind of um, uh, in game of they they didn't use ZBrush um, too much they um, you know he needed he need uh, some someone that is uh, how to say a bit uh, in a, experienced to, I don't know experience to to give an, another another I, I, another I, um, view of the. Uh, I can't explain it, maybe. But we were you using uh, we were using ZBrush already because your brother was there for like uh, two years already or something. And we yeah, yeah, it. but uh, I don't I don't think uh, the manager or or the team is needed something that is famous. They need something that some someone that will uh, give something for the projects. You know. Yes, of course, of course. But uh, uh, the thing that you are famous and um, that helped a lot. You know. <laughs> Because manager, the manager knew you, knew your work, and uh, it was a good for the name of the company. It was good for Game Loft to have you. You know, it's it's not good for you to be in a Game Loft. It was a little bit the other way around when they got you in in Game Loft. That was the case, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I I I I. There's no. Okay. <laughs> I okay, can, okay. Can I okay let's, uh, let's wrap it up i think we uh, managed to to see there are not too many questions there is a question how do i get to game log but this i will answer another time this is not the the time now because now uh this is interview with set so of course my story is for another video and it will be so uh yeah bye guys
and set to stay on the line we will talk a little bit more with you uh, offline okay bye from me and thank you for watching okay